Hello world, good morning, this is Barbie Lee. This is Quality of Life Assurance with the best breakfast ever. And as all mornings, I have my Isogenix Chocolate Mint Isoline Shake. Ooh, ooh, I'm making a mess, hold on. I just bent all over my desk. All right, so this is where we have a conversation about your quality of life. And we've been talking about food because food is the number one form to take care of your body to take care of this temple, whatever you want to call it, to give you the quality of life. Now, we also are a partner with Isogenics, so we do network marketing, so that helps your financial stability. So we, oh, we talk about health stability, financial stability, it's fantastic. So what we've been focusing on around here lately is the 100 healthy, uh, 150th, that's a heavy book, 150th healthy, Healthiest Foods on Earth, by Johnny Bowden. So we are about halfway through the book and we're on this section of nuts, seeds, and nut butters. And oh my goodness, ah, I do that. What, peanuts are not nuts? No, so peanuts actually fall under the legume family. I know, you're like, what? It even says peanut, right? It looks like a nut, it has nut in the title, it must be a nut. Really, nuts grow on trees, legumes, grow underground. And guess where peanuts are found? You're right, underground. So now that we're over that, I'll tell you the truth about cashews and walnuts and pistachios and almonds. They're all really not nuts either. They're really considered the legume family. But anyway, we're talking about peanuts today. So peanuts are high in antioxidants. So they're not like in the family of blueberries and um, uh, what, what, what did he say? He goes, he goes, yeah, it's not really, um, you know, high, oh, sorry, I'm on the wrong page. Oh, uh, oh no, I'm reading something totally different. Let me turn the page. Ha, this is what happens when you're on the wrong page. Okay, so it says, when it comes to antioxidant content, peanuts are right up there with strawberries. You're like, okay, but aren't peanuts bad for you? No, peanuts have that monounsaturated fat that's good in the Mediterranean diet. We've been talking about the lion's heart study and everything. So it has a good percentage, and if you, Oh, so if you take your peanuts and some health food stores and different stores and whatever, and, and like our bulk, bulk bulk barn here, you can go get peanuts and you put them in the grinder and then it makes like its own peanut butter, right? It, and, and then you don't have to do any of that sugar and fats and all the trans fats that they add and stuff. So, you know, the peanut butter that you get on the shelf, just not saying as healthy as if you just get real good peanuts. And turn them into peanut butter and just grind them right so it says peanuts have a high concentration of here's some big words again so hold on i gotta get this in the right light uh of, of a polyphenol called p comeric acid p comeric acid c-o-u-m-a-r-i-c acid and it says it's been studied for antioxidant abilities and its potential as an anti-cancer agent there's the C word again, right? Look at how many times we talk about food that are anti-cancer. Peanuts are another one. It talks about um, this, this uh, P. coumaric is significantly, it's, it's noticed it to significantly inhibit the oxidization of LDL cholesterol, okay? Now, again, they test rats. They don't really do these tests on humans, so they do the best that they can. So eating peanuts may stave off heart disease. So it says, you know, maybe they're just you know, not a powerhouse like blueberries and kale and like I was saying, but other, um, they're equal to antioxidants in blackberries and the strawberries, right? So it's just the obscure, and there's, sorry, it's not just the obscure newly discovered compounds like the P-cumeric acid that makes peanuts a great food. It says, we found that including peanuts, this is uh, uh, Purdue University, so it's kind of a prestigious one. We found that including peanuts in the diet significantly increases magnesium, folate, fiber, copper, vitamin E, and arginine consumption, all of which play in the prevention, play a role in the prevention of heart disease. So you want to add these things to your daily life, right? When we've been talking about this supplement, right? Eat real food supplement with a great product like Isogenics, eat real food, supplement, eat real food, get some exercise in there, live a long, juicy, healthy, delicious life. Like, isn't that what you want? Isn't that what you came here to do? To have all this energy to, to be and feel amazing, right? So that's what we do here, quality of life assurance. And we start it 
with the best breakfast ever. Have an amazing day. We'll see you on Wednesday.